assalamu alaikum guys uh, welcome back to the uh, civil engineering youtube channel uh, for those who don't know me my name is jess katak working as a civil engineering design consultant uh, over the past 16 years in the uk uh, and uh, i provide guidance assistance to civil engineers uh, as well as the students they wish to come over to the uk for study currently i'm working for the company called aecom uh, I'm sure you have heard about the AECOM and actually we have a new refurbished office uh, du during the lockdown, the COVID-19 lockdown, the office has been refurbished. So in this video, uh, I'm going to share the, the new office, the settings, everything with yourselves. So make sure you watch the whole video and at the end, I'm going to share some tips, information about how to be part of the AECOM family so make sure you watch the whole video so let's let's begin with the today's video so guys this is uh, the AECOM office from uh, outside uh, you can see it's a huge building uh, seven story building uh, but AECOM got the second floor on this building so I'll show you the second the refurbished office uh, in this video so let's let's uh, get inside the uh, the office here So from the ground level, we got access uh, via the lifts here, uh, as well as from the stairs, uh, as you can see here. But uh, I, I would take, uh, uh, it's, it's only the second floor, so I would rather take the uh, the stairs here. So let's, let's uh, go up wide stairs. So we are on the second floor with an access door here to the office and that has a security system uh, where I'm going to use my key fob to get access to the office. Uh, so here we come uh, inside the office and you can see to the right of the office uh, we got the new reception at the AECOM logo. Uh, obviously you can see the chairs are scattered around, it's not been uh, finished as yet but the outside view that's, that's brilliant from there. So to the left of the uh, reception we got uh, a two nice uh, meeting ports here, mustard colour, that looks quite cosy here, uh, you can see you can fit uh, four people there, four staff, with a screen there as well, uh, so that looks quite nice with, with a white table there. And here we go, an open plane uh, dining area with a big screen uh, there in the background uh, with a beautiful light uh, with a wide long table there. Uh, and to the side, uh, the, the, there is some storage or maybe that, that can be used for the uh, table tennis there. Uh, I'm sure yeah, the people love uh, table tennis in our office so that they can be utilized for that one. And here we go, an open plan uh, kitchen here. Uh, with a nice uh, big open space here So here we got a quite nice outside view of the Swindon area the bus station there so This is Adam Adam is in every office and he's the one that's that's running the whole office I'm during the COVID situation <laughs> and yes, that's, 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 that's the very reason yeah uh, just just uh, out of joke so Adam is a planning engineer and uh, if you can share a few words about the um, how did you find I mean the, the new refurbishment if you want to share a few words about yeah yeah well um, no it's uh, well it's absolutely great in here but um, obviously it's a bit of a shame that we can't use it properly at the moment um, yeah but I think most people are quite happy working from home at the moment so um, so yeah until we can get back in the office here then um, it's not too bad yeah all right so I'll let you go you do your work thank and you very uh, much. thank you very much cheers. So here we got the uh, one of the meeting room here with a white table in the middle and black chairs all around 
and that in the background you can see that the partition wall that can be moved out and uh, we can make it a big boardroom. So in this corridor we have uh, plenty of uh, personal lockers every acom staff would have their own personal lockers uh, as you can see here and alongside that we got uh, a storage a cupboard there as well um, you can see that that can be used for the storage purpose and uh, to the right we got another uh, meeting room here uh, similar arrangement as the other one or with the same uh, white table and black chairs with a big screen there at the front This is the main uh, staff seating area. Uh, no staff is uh, present, uh, as you can see, uh, due to the COVID situation. The staff are still working from home, uh, but uh, you can see the all the equipments that are still uh, taped around, and uh, there's still a minor works needs to be done before the st staff uh, turns back here to the office. Yeah, so how did you find the new office here? I mean, can you just yeah. share a few words with the audience? I mean, yeah. what's, what's the difference between the old one and the new one? Oh, this is much lighter and much more spacious. The lighting is great in here in comparison to the old office. Uh, much more open plan, uh, so you, a lot less cabinets. Uh, to do your work, yeah, yeah thank you very much. Care, Appreciate that. Cheers, thank you. So here in the middle of the office, we, we got uh, a long table primarily to be used for the uh, for the meetings and for the layouts here, the PVA and the long layouts here. On either side you can see some additional uh, personal lockers as well. So this must be the electrical section, uh, as you can see the uh, insulator there. This is a multidisciplinary office, as you can see each discipline has their own storage, the PM, ground investigation, uh, survey, civils, ENP and uh, they have their own storage area here so here we have the printer plotter and all the stationary cupboards here uh, all the storage area and uh, you can see all the the new plotters and the printers are there And here we are back in the kitchen and dining area. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the office tour. I would like to know from from uh, from your end, would you wish to be part of yeah um, to be part of this office? And uh, if you do, so I'm going to share some um, good information about how to become part of uh, the AECOM family. Now I'm just going to share a few tips or quite important information about how to become part of the AECOM family. 
I'm going to share you the, the, the link into the description um, where the AECOM career section you can access from there. All you need to do is just click on that career uh, section and find your relevant experience to your relevant uh, job and I'm sure you can become part of the AECOM. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on more informative and uh, educational videos in the future. Thank you very much.